Hello. Are you craving French onion soup? It's one of my go-to favorites. Before we get started in making the soup, I want to talk about the container that you're going to serve the soup in because you're going to be baking the soup in the container that you serve it in. You need oven proof containers and if you can, get a bowl that has a straight side like a crock. So here are two examples of bowls that have straight sides. They're both oven safe. This size would be used for an appetizer or before dinner serving, which is about one cup. If you're going to serve your soup as the main course, you want to be able to have at least a cup and a half in your bowl. So there are two different varieties of containers to serve your soup. All right, let's get started. Always sharpen your knife before you use it. Working with a dull knife can be very dangerous in the kitchen. Notice that I put the tip on my board and I'm holding it up here. I do better that way than holding it like this and coming towards my hand, even though I have a guard. So I'm going to just sharpen my knife and make sure it's nice and sharp. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees. As I discuss the ingredients, I'm going to give you the amount per serving so that you can adjust your recipe depending on how many people you are going to be serving. First, let's talk about the onions. The onion, a half of an onion, a medium-sized onion will serve one person. So I'm going to make enough for four people. So I have two full onions here that I'm going to chop. When I chop the onion, I first cut it in half and then I retain the root end, first of all, that will decrease the amount of crying you're going to do, but also it will hold the onion together while you're chopping it. You're gonna to wanna to coarse chop this. So remember your chopping skills. You give yourself a claw so the, the knife is running against your knuckles here, and you're gonna just cut down almost to the root in a nice rough cut. And we'll do one more. All right, now you're gonna kind of hold this now almost like a baseball, and then you're going to rough chop this. And then you can even cut around that. I'm going to cut both of my onions in a rough cut. You don't wanna cut it too small because then your onions will just basically fall apart in your soup. You still wanna have the onion integrity in your soup. The onions need to be caramelized. Choose a pot that has a deep bottom or a flat bottom so that you will allow the onions to spread out a little bit and you'll get better even cooking and caramelization so that they don't become crisp or too dry. Turn the stove on medium heat and for four servings I will use about one and a half to two tablespoons of butter and an equal amount of olive oil. I'm just gonna do a couple of rounds of the pan in here. And first let that melt and heat up before you add the onions. The oil and butter is ready when the butter starts to foam a little bit and you'll start to see bubbles coming up in the oil and butter. It's time to add the onions. Mm. 
Give them a nice stir to coat them in oil. And kind of spread them evenly in the bottom of the pan. Season lightly with some salt. And now we're just gonna let those cook and caramelize. It will take about 12 minutes or so for these to caramelize and become brown and rich, but you do not want them to get crispy. So keep an eye on them and stir them occasionally during that 12 minutes. The bread is a very important part of French onion soup. A nice French baguette is the kind of bread that you're gonna to wanna to use. I have some gluten-free bread that you can also use if you wanna do a gluten-free variety. I tried to find a gluten-free French baguette, but my store didn't carry it, so I'm gonna to have to just make do. If you choose a gluten-free bread, make sure that it's a nice, sturdy bread that can hold up to the soup. Slice the baguette so you have enough slices to cover the bottom of your bowls. I like to slice a quarter of an inch slices. You don't want the bread too thick, otherwise it will absorb all of the liquid of the soup and it will just become a soggy mess. I'm going to slice approximately three slices per bowl, maybe four, just in case. I can always just eat what I have left over. and place them on a cookie sheet. Don't butter them. You don't need to butter these, we're just gonna toast them. And we've already got the preheated oven at 400, so we're just going to put them in the oven. And there's the oven, ready to go. For the gluten-free bread, I'm gonna cut that into four pieces so it's a little bit smaller and I can arrange it in my bowl a little bit better. I'm going to leave the crust on just as I did for the French baguette. And in the oven they go. For the leftover baguette, you should use it within the day or you can freeze it. If you're going to freeze it, make sure you put it into a baggie that you can get all the air out of and it will stay good for about up to three months. Time to talk cheese. I prefer a nice Gruyere cheese. This is a boar's head Gruyere cheese. I always shred my own cheese. I do not buy pre-shredded cheese. If you look at the ingredients here, the ingredients are pasteurized milk, salt, cheese cultures, enzymes. That's it. If you look at a package of pre-grated cheese, you'll find all sorts of preservatives and additives in that cheese. That's intended to prevent clumping, but it doesn't allow for the cheese to melt properly and you don't have the same rich taste of the cheese. So. It doesn't take much to grate your own cheese, and I highly recommend it. Okay, the toast is ready to come out. It's nice and browned on both sides. It's nice and browned. So we're gonna set that aside till we're ready to put it together. The onions are caramelized, nice and brown, but not crisp. And now it's time to add the broth. I'm adding chicken stock, actually. I prefer stock over broth because it has a richer flavor because it's been cooked with vegetables. You can use chicken stock or vegetable stock. The amount will be one and a half cups per dinner size serving or one cup per person 
for an appetizer serving. Don't use beef broth because that's too rich. It will take away from the flavor of the onions and you want to really have the onions be the star of the show. Bring this to a boil. So I'm going to turn up the heat to about a medium high. Check the seasoning and add some salt and a little pepper if needed. I think it needs a little bit of both. Mm, that's perfect. Prepare your bowls. Place enough toasted bread in the bottom of each bowl to basically cover the bottom of the bowl. It's going to take about four. I think this is going to take about three. There we go. Remember, again, don't overcrowd this with too much bread or it's going to be a soggy mess. Next, you're going to put about a quarter of a cup of shredded Gruyere cheese on top of the bread. There. Now that the soup is boiling, it's time to add the soup to the bowls. with 